Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about this figure right there. And as you can see, and as you all know, that is Vanilla. As you all know, a few weeks, months ago, I bought the first pop-up uh, parade figure from Nekopara and I bought Chocolate and now I finally got Vanilla as well. Because when I get Chocolate, I always want the other one as well. I think those are my two main characters from the game that I really enjoy. Um, I think everyone is great, but if I really had to make choices, I would only buy those two. So that's why I got her as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into this impression slash close up slash looking at all the details of the figure itself. Uh, but before we do that, we have the box as always. And as you can see, the box is the standard pop-up parade box, some information on the back. But for the rest, it's just a window packaging, so you can see the figure in its full glory. So nothing too special. Then we have the figure right here. In the video, I will overlay this with some uh, nice close-up shots uh, when I talk about uh, well, everything. So, uh, well, let's just get into it. As you can see, this is Vanilla. Uh, she's wearing her maid outfit, um, which, well, it's, it's like her most iconic outfit she has in the game. And I think it looks really cool. Um, this figure is from Pop-Up Parade, so it's from Good Small Company. But their budget, uh, or their price figures, let's put it like that. Uh, so this figure is uh, stand tall at around 16 centimeters in total. And, well, it will set you back around 40 to 50 dollars. Uh, in total. Alright, so as you can see, I zoomed in a bit and now we can look at the details. So, the details won't be amazing, it won't be like most skill figures where you uh, where you pay like 100 or 180 euros or dollars for it and you get an amazing looking figure. This is a bit less detailed but for the price it is a really good figure in my opinion. So when you look at well, let's begin at the top with her head. She has a nice, well, maybe a bit bored, but you know, she's like a bit uh, cold in, in the game. So she has the same kind of expression. She has really cool um, well, uh, ears, like cat ears, with some fluffy insides to them, which look really cool. I think her hair is pretty nicely detailed. Uh, I think it could do with a bit more shading here and there in the, in the paint job itself, but all in all, I'm not complaining, I think it looks pretty decent. Then somewhat down, uh, you get to like, kind of the most detailed part of the figure in my opinion, which is the clothing she's wearing, which is the dress outfit. And in my opinion, this looks really cool. Um, it has some folds. Um, once again, like in the hair, there could be some shading to it. Like it looks nice, but I would have liked a bit darker in the, in the folds in total. But there's some nice detail, like some nice uh, patterns in there as well. A nice bow tie, a nice heart there, another bow tie there, and that, and I think that's the bell from her cat collar um, as well. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And she's even wearing like a sort of a handkerchief or something around her wrist, uh, wrist uh, that also has a bow tie painted on it. It's not sculpted. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really cool. A nice amount of details, some cool um, patterns on there and some cool uh, little uh, things that they added were uh, namely all these little bow ties which really add to the figure in my opinion. Well, one of the coolest things uh, for this figure in my opinion is the pose. I think it looks cool. It's, a, it's, it's more dynamic and well, I just think it looks pretty decent. Then, going down towards her legs, she's wearing some stockings, some white stockings, which you expect that she's wearing when wearing a maiden, uh, a maid outfit, not a maiden outfit, what the fuck is a maiden outfit? Anyway, that she wears with a maid outfit, and all the way down there, you can see that she is wearing some blue heels, which, uh, which have a bit of shine, which looks cool, and yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. From the back... 
well she has her two braids in and also a nice bow tie uh, on the back as well that just holds everything together um, all in all oh and even a little cat tail I didn't even notice that I thought it was part of her hair but well it, it's the same color as her hair which I guess would make sense um, but yeah she even have has a little cat tail which looks pretty decent so yeah that's the figure I think it's a pretty good figure um, like in my opinion popper parades can be a really uh, a good hit or they can miss sometimes as well like sometimes there is just too little uh, detail in there or the pose is just too plain but I think they really nailed it with this figure um, they also nailed it with the chocolate figure um, if you want to know how that one looks the chocolate figure I will put like a annotation somewhere on screen uh, so you can have a look at that anyway that was the figure guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like on this video um, subscribe if you want to see more in-depth impressions uh, close-up shots of figures as well um, in the pinned comment below you can find a link towards my discord channel um, it's a really small uh, community at the moment but hey if you join we can talk about anime figures about memes about waifus whatever you want uh, so yeah have a look if you're interested and we'll see you all in the next video